this it's Friday night going off to see the biggest game of the season tonight Clitorn against Linfield oh, what a match this is going to be my word, I'm actually excited I did a wee bit of research in the big two I turned into a big bit of research in the big two but I'm not going to bore you with the details there's another vlogger who will bore you with the details football adventures or footy adventures Sam North, he's brilliant at doing research he's brilliant at talking about it so hopefully he gets over to Northern Ireland and does a wee bit in the future his vlogs are very good by the way um, anyway a couple of wee things I got from the history of of um, this, this fixture is that Linfield and Torn weren't always the big two Linfield and Belfast Celtic used to be a big two until 1948-49 whenever Belfast Celtic played Linfield and a number of their players got injured on the pitch by spectators who had entered the field to play and at that point Belfast Celtic says it's not worth our while competing why a lot of sectarianism even back then like um, so they, they disbanded and their fans they had a massive fan base they decided you know, oh, we need to support other clubs and a lot of their fans went over and supported the Torn so all of a sudden the Torn became the second of the big two and that's where the big rivalry comes from interesting stuff very meticulous, I'm sure it's exactly the same. What's happening? Johnny Black. Good. You good? Black. What are you doing, my car boy? Fuck me. Ah, you need to have a re-record. Do you think, it, you think it's rough that. here? You want to see monks down, mate? <laughs> good thing you didn't pick me up there. Nightmare getting in, so it's just constant traffic. Well, here. Where's that map at? It's a nice see motor, mate. This is the wife's side, right? A shit heap. Yeah. I drive a mini. Oh. It's um, a plan, but it's, You know how to get there, right? Is it recording on. already? It's recording now. Bad man. Just like the word but it's not there. Um, I was speaking to someone here and they were saying that um, what do you call him? Fucking Paddy McLean is it you call him? Uh, half. Paddy is they able to play because they've appealed his see they've appealed his red card. I'm the wrong video. Oh you go right round and M2 say um they're doing that technicality, just technicality because it means they can play. Like oh. did you see the tackle? Oh, it was horrific. <laughs> I love them. I love the tackles. Like, it's alright if you need to hit the ball. The ball. Well, he, he went over it a bit, didn't he? I'll get a bit of abuse here. Like, Will you yeah, actually? Like, 100%. They know that you're a... Definitely. I don't care. Like, but would they not be... Like, no. Right? <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> well, they have no idea. You're, you're in the team that last won the league for Glintorn. Sure, they got... They're like... Can they pay us? 13, 13 years ago or so. Right. Was it? 2009. That's kind of a big deal. Let's put it this way: if somebody came to Corian to watch a match, and they'd won the cup with Corian, even though they moved on, like they're, they're legend forever. Oh, it's a different spot leaving to go to. Mm. I was saying that I think leave Glen, the Glens would have blues. I left to go to Corian. You know what I mean? So I don't, we'll see. Um, Probably a bit of friendly abuse, maybe. You're, you're a cult hero at Corian for two <laughs> things. The halfway line goal and getting kneeled against the cliff and um, <laughs> That video came up last week, girl. I was sex to my missus and she was actually loving it. Is there, she was is laughing there, like fuck. Is there footage of you getting kneeled? Oh, I've got it in my fucking up. Someone oh. sent me it. We're like Roy Keane and Mika Richards here. Oh. The shit version. <laughs> Off wish. <laughs> Off that I, I hate being in front of the cameras. See, like, like years ago and all, just to get you to go and do like um, things in new TV and all. I used to be sitting there sweating my balls off, just sitting scratching my face with nervousness and all. You know what I mean? Did you see the good thing about this? I can't look at the camera because I'm too dry. I don't want to look at it either. I expect everyone to be like, there's Johnny Black. He won the league before <laughs> him. I don't even know who I am, half the person. Too young. Oh, man, I've, I've told people, I've, I've said to people there's a special guest, special guest. Oh, you haven't. Fucking have to have. You're a dickhead. I haven't told, I haven't told them who yeah, um, Maybe nephew's winding me up, he's supporting, he used to support the Glens, because my brother obviously changed the Glens when I was playing there, and then he's, he's supporting the Cruiser at the minute. 
And he's, he's asking me for Ben Kennedy's top, saying I'm shouting a lot. So he doesn't even know I played Irish League football. He just thinks I'm fucking work. I heard that you left um, Crusaders because you're scared of Stephen Baxter. Because oh, Stephen Baxter says, I'll fight anyone, Jackie. Oh, fucking wild man. We're here at the Oval and we got a big lens man. What's your score prediction for the night? Well, I'm not so sure. He's not here, like, but I'll just say one each. One each? I think it's going to be a hard game. Then we have a great spine. We don't have a great spine in our team. We'll be the best forward line in the Irish League, but we'll see. And uh, if we lose tonight, and that'd be a disaster, it's bad, but the draw is the worst result. But with the best forward line, we'll go for it. Two man, cheers. Predictions for the match, Kat. I'm gonna go 3 2 Linfield. I'm gonna go 2 1 Linfield. <laughs>
Time at the over way in the first half. Both, both teams have been nervous, probably. So much at stake of the second half for a bit of win. The Cairns are going to have to play so they can get more excited. I think the first half's been crap, to be honest with you. The It's always poor conditions when it's cold over in the over, so I don't know. He's really playing a part. And I'd say much he does. One goal wins it. Oh, I don't know. So, second half to come. Let's hope it's a wee bit fair, a bit, bit, bit more goal mouth action. Maybe that's looking far, wouldn't it? Johnny Black just after telling me every match he goes to he finishes 0 0. I mean, he told me that earlier he wouldn't have been coming.
Johnny <laughs> one nil to Glentorn. Not a great game, but last twenty minutes were good. Yeah, Satan for last twenty minutes. Could have been a couple of goals. Um very scrappy. Very scrappy the first seventy minutes. Wasn't enjoyable at all really, was it? Johnny, who um, wants the league? <sighs> Too early a call still. Heart says Linfield, my head says the Glens, to be honest. Right. Just the momentum, mate, the momentum they've been on. So from where they've came from, just keep keep crawling, top of the table now, so I want to keep going, I reckon, so I'd say it glands, I'll go ahead and win it. Aye. Right, Johnny, um, we go home now. Yep, fucking free. Good man.